With low to no code tools like Framer and Webflow becoming way more popular, I wanted to see just how fast I could take this layout and create it in Framer versus doing it the good old fashioned way with HTML and CSS. Will Framer be twice as fast? Three times faster? Maybe five times faster? I'm not sure. Let me know what your predictions are in the comments below, but we're about to find out. And at the end, I'm going to give you some of my key takeaways about tools like Framer versus just doing it the good old fashioned way with HTML and CSS in some JavaScript. All right, let's get started. So here I am taking the design I made in Figma and utilizing the Figma to Framer paste plugin to make this design work and animate within Framer. Now when you paste your design from Figma to Framer, it does a good job of accurately translating the design to its interface. I only needed to make a slight adjustment to the 0-1 type. Now Framer and other low to no code tools work by acting as a middleman between you and the code you work with such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. In the end, it's all converted into code, and in this case, React, but you as the designer don't have to worry about the actual code. Now what I'm doing here is applying a mask to each of the type layers so that I can then create a staggered type-based animation where the text comes from nowhere and falls into place. It's a super simple way of achieving animation as opposed to manually typing out the CSS or JavaScript, which you'll see me do when I tackle this design in raw code in a bit. So after a bit of testing, here is the final result. It took eight minutes and 49 seconds. Now let's see how long it takes to type all of this out in HTML and CSS. So here we are with the lovely HTML and CSS. And as most of you know, it's a matter of defining your HTML elements and then styling those elements with CSS. Coding everything out by hand certainly makes the process take more time, but you do have absolute full control over exactly how things are handled. Now at this point in the process, I was just about finished doing the layout in Framer, and I'm not even halfway through yet with the HTML and CSS. One of the things that also takes the manual HTML and CSS process longer is the fact that it's very difficult to get all of your HTML and CSS code right the first time. I typically have to modify my HTML markup a few times along with the CSS to fix any unintended issues that may arise. To achieve the animations, I'm just using CSS keyframe animations and I'm controlling the staggered timing by adjusting the delay of each element's animation by a factor of 0.2 seconds. And here we go. It took 21 minutes and 21 seconds to create this in raw HTML and CSS, whereas it took 8 minutes and 51 seconds to do the no-code route. Now, while Framer is certainly faster, for this very limited and simple example, the file size of the resulting project is much larger for Framer, and that's because your Framer project becomes a React project, which means a lot more code to transfer, thus more data. In the end, I think both low to no code tools and raw and HTML and CSS have their place depending on the situation. If your project demands full control and full flexibility with speed being a huge factor, you'll want to avoid low to no code tools. If what you need isn't all that complex and time or lack of coding skills is an issue, low to no code tools like Framer are perfect. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy.